the music isn't too loud. Beep 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 move amethyst oh I guess that was on another layer oops all good then let's pull up Need a reference image. As I <laughs> literally searching reference image in, in Google, that's not what I wanted. And with this, there we go. Okay. I don't know if anyone's in here, but I am gonna get started. I already did the sketch earlier today. So, I thought, it, yeah, I can go right into painting. Hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Good to see ya, good to see ya. Let me know if the music's too loud, if, or if I'm not loud enough or anything. Your PNG tuber is super cute. Thank you. Thank you, Sim, so much. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. All right. I had some time today. I finished the amount of thumbnails that I was happy with doing for my project, and I'm all ready to go for my presentation tomorrow. So, and I haven't streamed in a while, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just hop on for a second. Say hi to anyone who comes in. All that good stuff. This is a chill environment. Always safe, even if you haven't done that much progress. You just never know. Ooh. 
Ooh, Anna asks, what brush do you use? All right, uh, yeah, I'm more than happy to share. Uh, so what I'm currently using, I mainly use two different brushes. Uh, they're both modified Kyle Webster brushes from um, back from like 2016 era or something. Uh, so they probably, I don't know if they perform differently on um, uh, CC on the Creative Cloud, but uh, so the one I'm currently using this is just a, a, my own personal modified version of uh, color. Hey, let me make it easier to read. Color magic. And then this is kind of like a pencil thing. It's just a modified version of Kyle's uh, animator pencil. I hope that helps. I'll keep that up too if anyone uh, is curious. I'll even oop, move it to the side. Actually, I probably, um, maybe I'll make like a little window thing um, in OBS and just keep it up for people who are curious. Yeah, no problem. Shoot, I lost the purple I was using. Oh, thank you so much. I'm having a lot of fun. Amethyst is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> it starts taking notes. Yeah, feel free to, if you've, anyone has any questions on anything, uh, I'm pretty open. Uh, I'm not like some kind of weirdo competitive person who's like, no, I can't share my secrets. It's, try to be as helpful as I can. May I ask how long tomorrow's workshop is? Yes, okay, I, okay, so I figured there's enough people probably watching. I can, uh, I'll probably share more info throughout the whole thing. So I'm doing a workshop with the Society of Illustrators, which is freaking awesome. Um, so they do a Saturday stories workshop uh, w once every Saturday a month. And uh, let me pull up the page that you can go to. Uh, so it starts at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It should go, it goes until 12. So it's a two and a half hour workshop. So basically what's gonna be going on is, oop, oh no, I lost it. Whoopsie. Uh, there you go, okay. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is just doing a little PowerPoint presentation about myself, um, projects I've worked on, a little bit about my process of making my first author illustrated picture book. Um, I'll go through like some old files and all that good stuff if you're curious about that. Um, and then I'm gonna do a reading of the book because this is uh, for kids and adults alike. And then afterwards, uh, for the rest of the bulk of the workshop, I am actually, surprise, surprise, surprise I'm actually doing a, tra a traditional workshop. So I'll have my phone connected to uh, the Zoom meeting too, and it'll be like an overhead situation. And I will be working with all sorts of different kinds of materials, kind of talking about my process of how I pick colors and um, what color palettes like convey to me and how do I come up with characters or, you know, backgrounds and so on and so forth. Uh, so I'll be working with gouache, watercolor, uh, neo color crayons and color pencils on uh, watercolor paper, but, and. Uh, feel free if you want to participate or uh, kids are very encouraged to participate that you can send your art in and stuff like that uh, Just kind of draw along with me. Um, I Think it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited and it'll be the first time kind of showing my process traditionally So that it'll be tomorrow from 1030 to 12 Eastern Daylight Time um, And yeah, just register on their website so they can kind of gauge how many people might be showing up to the Zoom meeting. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, so yeah, I'd love to see you there. Yay! Oh, 
thank you. I, I hope to see you there. It's, it should be really fun. Um, they're, they're super nice. And uh, from the previous workshops I've seen them do, they've done a fantastic job. So I'm just honored that they asked me to be part of it, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So if anyone else new sh shows up in the chat and is just kind of wondering, oh, what's that weird thing you added in the corner? A workshop? I'll, I might do the spiel over again. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I'll keep that window up to the side. Yeah, it should be really fun. I've only ever done like one other workshop in the past. It was actually really cool. I got to go to Florence, Italy. Uh, I was invited to uh, do uh, a workshop over there for a bit. Uh, but that was like back a few years ago. Now I feel like I kind of have a little bit more experience under my belt. So I, 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 think, I think I'll do pretty well. I should be practicing my speech, but it's not really a speech. I, I think I can wing it. I've done school presentations. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I figured it'd be a good... I, I picked kind of talking about color and stuff because um, I figured... Um, I figured not only kids would be interested in it, but I, I know I have a lot of um, other creative peers who um, have asked me like how, how I pick colors and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll do my best to try and explain. Yeah, exactly, go with the flow. I'm mean, usually uh, kind of not, I wouldn't say I'm like a total uptight person, but I can be. So I, I just gotta go with the flow sometimes. forget to save. I've learned my lesson way too many times for me to not save, so I'm going to do it. I know this purple seems really intense right now. Don't worry, I, I'm gonna blend everything a little bit better once I add uh, more colors. Hope everyone's having a nice day so far too. Happy Friday. <laughs> I almost said happy Friday to those who celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> hey cat, how's it going? Hope you're having a nice day too. I love the Friday festivity called Friday. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Friday should be treated as a holiday. Friday. 
Friday in this economy? Ridiculous. <laughs> Usually I'm not really a, a pink fan, but I think um, this one's coming through. I, I like purple and pink together. more of like a like a fan of a red than a pink but Dark, a little too intense. Mm, if I lower the opacity. So now I'm at kind of at the point where I've laid down a lot of like random splotches of color, color so I like to color pick at this point and just kind of tweak it just a little bit and I'll go back to normal rather than um, color burn. I'm just kind of try to blend it up a little bit more. Still want to keep a lot of those like fun like brush details but I, I kind of try and smooth it out a little bit more. Might just add some areas I totally forgot to get. Soften this up a little bit. <laughs> it's a little in too intense. Hi, Mom. How's it going? 
My mom's in the chat, everybody. Say hi to my mom. I tried texting you. You didn't text me back. I, tr I was asking how your day was today. <laughs> you didn't answer. <gasps> nice. She bought Mothman Baby and didn't know it was me. That's a that's a surprise. She didn't even recognize the last name or anything. She's like, I've seen this last name. <laughs> Oh, she can! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what are you, on Twitch at work? What are you doing? <laughs> Some headphones in. Gosh, I'm a dingus. I forgot to color in her little, like, shirt opening crud. Okay, let me do that really quick.
I miss this show. This is a pretty good show. just had great characters and it, it just felt like such a show that like I would have loved as a kid just all the creativity I think even as a kid I had uh, characters with uh, gemstone names oh yeah Steven Universe was for me college College, like late college. It's a very good show. Kids have it good these days. I would play Steven Universe music, but I, I, I think I would get copyright striked if I did that, so I'm not gonna do it. Sometimes purple and blues can be really tricky for me. <sighs> like, for some reason, I can nail it down doing, like, warmer colors for color variations. Just something about, like, cooler colors I still haven't fully nailed. Like, I'm gonna play around right now with, um, a color burn and see how that looks. Just to kind of... Uh, see, I don't even know if I like that. Like, I like having- <laughs> Thanks for now following, Mom. <laughs> that could be kind of interesting. I'll play with it. I love Steven Universe. Uh, I might be older, but started watching at the start of the pandemic and made it- Yes. No, seriously. It is just a very nice show, especially like once you just get past the first couple episodes, it's just really nice. <laughs> As in, I really don't understand how this color and this color work together, so I'll just say it's magic. Oh, yeah, I wish I had a better explanation for it. It's The closest thing I'll explain in terms of color theory is purple and yellow are contrasting colors. So when you use them on top of each other, they neutralize out. Um, 
So if you wanna try and get a little bit more interest in your color rather than just staying um, uh, monochromatic or anything like that, um, it's always good to kind of add opposites. I like to think that it either helps warm up, a, you know, a character or cool them down. So with this, the purple by itself is pretty stagnant, but when you add, you know, yellows and greens, more on the opposite side of the, side of the color wheel, it kind of helps add a little bit more depth. I hope that makes sense. I, I, I'm hoping to explain it better tomorrow. Ooh, sometimes my goes wet and my brush goes whack. Okay. So what I'll do um, is I'll color pick. So like, see this, it looks really yellow, right? like this area right here. But if I color pick it, it's really, it's still pretty muted, you know? It's just kind of the power of tricking your eye. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna color pick from this purple. So two different colors. Um, and, oh yeah, I'm realizing it's so small on the screen. And I'm gonna go back to normal, normal mode and just kind of use that to kind of blend this area a little bit together. Make it a l still keeping as much as the brush strokes that I, I can. Um, see, I, I love this like darker color. I want to utilize that more. So I'm, I'm just kind of switching things up. I'm treating it like I'm traditionally painting. That's kind of what's been my, my groove lately. I've been finding the most like color success and finding, it, it just kind of helps bring my digital art a little bit more alive. So I will, I'm gonna color pick this and I'm gonna color pick this. Just kind of run that down. Let me lift this up a little bit. So it's just adding a little bit more interest. And then I'll incorporate it over here. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting trying to explain this with traditional materials. Because <laughs> obviously it's traditional and not digital, so I can't... I mean, not to say I'm predi I'm not predicting any of this, but I guess it's a little bit easier to kind of easily go over stuff. With traditional, it's kind of like you have to kind of roll with the punches. <laughs> Magic. You know, I need to like start working on some highlights and stuff too soon. Cause I'm already seeing the first issue, which is uh, these colors are way too close to each other. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to select, maybe deselect this part. See, this is the power of digital tools. Utilize what you have at your disposal. You don't have to be perfect one way or the other, or in terms of purity of uh, whatever. It's art. Nothing has to be pure. So I'm just taking that, and then I am going to just try and lighten it up and see how it looks. See, it's interesting. Can I? I can I like the original hue. I'm almost wondering. Hmm. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what if I played with one of the channels a bit more? Nope. 
maybe kind of make her hair more of a cooler tone and her body more of a warmer tone. That might be a good bet to go, maybe? But now we're just kind of straying a little too far. Because I like the purple. Let's try something else. Lighten. Saturate. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Makes it fun. Let's start with that for right now. And we'll play around. I think what I'll probably do too is... Ooh, nice. See, even just... Lovely. We're getting somewhere. This is a- I love using the levels tool. It makes such a huge difference. And I'll like check to see how it's looking. Okay, and then save. I probably have people in the back going like, Oh my gosh, make a separate uh, clipping mask. I don't I'll do that. I play risky, baby. I play super heckin' risky. <laughs> it's just personal art. It's not, it's, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Let the tools help you. Yeah, see? Use use the tools at your disposal. Actually, I saw a really cool Twitter thread talking about, like, gradient mapping on Procreate. That looks sick. Like, just, like, doing it in grayscale and then, um, having it, like, you can just choose from different gradient colors to kind of help you choose a color palette. Genius. Absolutely genius. Use the tools. Though I'm thinking this area is a little too intense, so... I like vibrant colors, but not that much. I think we can be a little bit... more controlled here. <laughs> We're not in the neon color phase anymore. doesn't love highlights. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna show another colored um, combo that I've been 
huge fan of taking a dark, like magenta, like really dark, and then like taking a dark forest green-ish color, perylene green and perylene magenta. Makes like the prettiest like dark tone. It's just lovely. Oh, oh, I'm on color dodge. That's why I was like, what's up with this? And after I'm done with this, again, I'm not paying attention on who's in chat or whatever. Um, but if anyone would like to throw out a fan art suggestion, um, I'm always down to look at it. I'll probably, I would rather pick a character that I know than not know. It doesn't hurt to throw it out. Um, we're just having fun here, you know? Well, now I'm on the gem subject. Lapis Lazuli was my favorite gem. Angsty, sad, artsy, so relatable. I love Lapis Lazuli. Such a great character. Uh, do you watch any Dimension 20 stuff? Some fan art for one of the season ones. Uh, no, unfortunately, I am not familiar with that at all. I feel, so I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it justice. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, just like list stuff and I'll let you know if I'm familiar with um, anything. I'll do my best. No worries, highly, highly recommend if you're interested in D&D content and all. That particular season is basically Game of Thrones, but with food-based characters. Oh, that sounds like fun, actually. I uh, I do play D&D. Actually, uh, played D&D for years. Um, uh, actually, we recently, both of my groups that we play with, uh, we're trying out new tabletop RPGs this time around. Uh, so, very excited about that. Um... So yeah, D and D's awesome. I, I hope everyone gets a chance to play it because it's it's just so much fun. Hell yeah, running Call of Cthulhu at all. I love that system for the spookiness. No, it's on our list, actually. Uh, that's that's definitely one on our list. Uh, we are currently running... Uh, we've done a bunch of different stuff. So the most current one that we're trying is Lancer. Super excited for this one. It's a, a mech one. 
really cool system. Uh, so if you love if you love mechs by any chance, uh, highly recommend that one so far. It's been really fun. Combat's good. It's like it's complicated, but it's like not. I think it's very approachable still. Um, and then the other one we're in our other group we're just kind of playing around with other ones. So right now we're trying a wrestling one called Worldwide. Well, <laughs> worldwide wrestling. So if you like wrestling, that's also a very good one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other ones we've been enjoying lately. Oh, I love Wander Home. If anyone hasn't played Wander Home yet, oh, good feels all around, everybody. If you just want like, if you just want the feeling of a hug, just get some buddies together. You can learn it in an afternoon. The cool part is, is you don't have, you don't need a DM. It's just so much fun, so cozy. I just want to make snacks and play it with my friends. It's just so much, it's just so cute. You get to play animals. It's like, um, I guess the best way I could describe it is like, if you're, um, it's like comfy Lord of the Rings, but you're animals. Like, with Animal Crossing, I would say. You can't say no to that. Okay, now I like how these colors are blending out a little bit better. They're not as intense. <laughs> Ooh, sleep away in quiet year. Uh, I've never heard of those actually. Always down to look into them. If anyone's got some good tabletop RPGs that they would like to recommend, I will. I would love to look at them and send them over to my partner, who is just he always just wants to find new and other awesome um, tabletops you can try. Uh, we're thinking of trying the Lord of the Rings one too. Um, oh, repeat the name of the game. Um, Wander Home. I'll, I'll type it in the chat. If that's the one you're talking about, right? Yeah. Wander Home. It's so good. The art is amazing, too. The art is awesome. Painting is a process. <laughs> it takes notes. I see Jay, how's it going? Yes, please uh, share all the good games. Seriously. We love some good games here. Even board games too. I'm always looking for good board game suggestions. We actually uh, have a board game night tonight with our friends. So we're very excited. I think we're gonna bring over, um... See, the thing is, is like, I'm over, we're over the, um, the Catan stuff. We're, we're done with that. We're like, so, um, lately we've been more into, um, other really, really fun games. This is a pretty good gem. I will take it. Um, uh, my favorite board game is Cosmic Encounter. It is super duper fun. It's a very social game. I think I tend to do better with the social games rather than the um, uh, the more like Euro style games. Oh, hey Zoe, in chat, just studying for my driver's permit right now. Ooh, good luck. Hope it goes well. You'll nail it.
trying to think of I'm trying to think of other uh, board games that I really enjoy that I would just recommend anyone to play. Um, if anyone is remotely interested in playing board games, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Oh, this is a good song. Thank you, y'all. Uh, last Sunday, my partner and I found a new board game store. We didn't buy anything that day, but we're definitely going to go back and get games. Yes! Oh, support your local board game stores. They're, they are awesome. Oh, um, some other games I'm now thinking of that I would recommend. Azul is great. Uh, awesome, like, if you want to get out of Catan, but you don't know where to start next, go do Azul. It's a really fun, like, four-player kind of game. Uh, I would recommend, uh, oh, jeez, I might have to go to the other room and look at some. <laughs> um, I hate when my mind blanks, but Azul is a very good one. I think that's one of our other more recent ones. Um, oh, I hear, um, Wingspan is awesome. We haven't gotten it yet, but it's high on our list. I hear it's very, very good. Pink shoes. I know these aren't her actual shoes in the show. I just thought she would look cool in Converse. <laughs> Creative liberties, right? Water break. Oh yeah, I was gonna color the stars on her jeans. Her jean shorts. Thing. 
Yeah, I think she, like, this, the sketch is always way more deceiving. Like, it just looked a little too stretched out for my liking. So, we're gonna go with that instead. Mm, we'll save that. And out of curiosity, I do just want to kind of play with the colors a little bit. Because again, I just, I have a lot of trouble with purples and blues. It's kind of like never at what I want. Like, I think blue is just a very intense color. I don't know, that's kind of fun. It's tough. I'm gonna leave this for right now, and then... As we kind of clean up the details and stuff... I think uh, a decision will be a little bit more clear. So now I'm just kind of going in and just adding... Just like details. Kind of to help... Bring her alive more. Clean it up. Thanks everyone for hopping in too. I know it was kind of very last minute. <laughs> I didn't have anything planned. I just thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to stream today since I had time. I love watching people illustrate in color. It inspires me. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, same here, actually. I need to watch more people stream. You guys are very nice. Yeah, I hope I find I hope you all find this interesting. Just thought it'd be fun to share my process, how I've been painting lately. I'm gonna see what she'd look like with bigger pupils. Or just not the shading, you know? So sometimes, like, I like the style where you don't really draw the pupils. Ooh, I kind of like this. <laughs> the rendering after putting most of the colors, adding those little details is my favorite part. It adds such flavor. Mmm, love it. Oh, thank you, my dude, thank you. I agree, this is like the best part. kind of helps make it come alive.
Oh, I like that way better, yeah. Give me a second. I think the music just went out. It's like, are you still here? There we go. You couldn't tell I like painting hair. <laughs> it's too much fun. <laughs> like, how dare it be this fun? I wish my hair did this re in real life. <laughs> See, this is the joy of just like laying down a ton of messy colors at the beginning because then you get to color pick all of them and it just it oh it just blends it just makes it look way more natural trust the process y'all trust the process It's like carving. 
in a weird way. You're kind of like laying down a bunch of stuff and then you're just trying to find... You're just trying to find uh, the piece of art you're looking for. Have you ever had like this style struggle when you want to make goofy, colorful, and cheerful things, but also semi-realistic, cool D and D kind of art, and you just don't know how to have these both in your life? Like you feel like you can do one, and yeah. Uh, oh yeah. It it's like I, for me, how I feel a lot of the time is I want to do a lot more. S I don't want to say serious, but more. Um, what is considered uh more tr traditional tra trade book kind of publishing um and, but i still love doing kind of goofy stuff <laughs> puts mustache on i'm the friend oh you're okay my dude you're not alone um but i just love doing like you know cartoony stuff too so i'm just trying to find a balance of um it, kind of being loose with painterly, but still having fun cartoony expressions. Uh, yeah, I think, like, that's been kind of the closest thing I've gotten, is just, um, take the fun silhouettes and character designs of, say, like, something that's very cute, and then... Uh, I guess, like, for me, what's worked has just been treating it like a traditional painting. Usually that's- and- and then, obviously, don't choose, like, insane color palette. Like, I mean, not insane. Like, have fun with colors. Just don't do just a bunch of neon colors. Like, the cool thing with color theory and stuff like this. Like, even just what I'm utilizing right now in the hair, it's a purple base, but with the yellow undertones, it helps kind of neutralize it and give some warmth and interest. Just adding little things like that is gonna add some interest, you know? I said that twice. But you get what I mean. Like, even here, I think these, like, sh these j jean shorts, these jorts, uh, are a little flat still, so I'll probably mess around with them a little bit more. Opposite of blue is orange, so we'll kind of go more there, and then... Go into here. Now let me move it a little bit. Like, even just this, like, it makes a huge difference. Just like lining it around the corners like this gives it a sense of depth. Isn't that crazy? Like, color is really cool. Like, just kind of blending it around. It doesn't have to be too intense or anything, but already it it helps add a little bit of dimension. And then I'll just kind of lower this and even doing different shades of like okay, this is like a bluish gray. If I go a little bit more on the greener side, it's so subtle, but it makes a huge difference. I'll even zoom in a little closer, like. Look at- look at this crotch! <laughs> like, even just a little bit. It just- I- th I think it makes a huge difference, in my opinion. It's very subtle, but... And I'm doing very light pressure on this, too. I just- I- I just hope that makes sense. I'm even going to, like, lower this. I'm going to do an opposite of green and then go kind of more purpley. And then see... See... Ah! Beautiful! I love it. It just... Have fun with the colors. It's magic. Exactly. Yeah. Ever, you can have fun with, um, painting digitally like this. I mean, I've been having fun with it, in all honesty. I got kind of tired of doing the flat color. And I feel like this has kind of helped me grow a lot as an artist. 
Oh, we're getting somewhere, family. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take a quick screen grab and kind of show people what we're working on right now. Uh, da, 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 and get, get some other folks in here, if they're interested. Let's see. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, you know what? I should just do this. I should just... I should just screen grab this. Um, thank you for your patience, everybody. Oh, that's way better. Okay, yeah, I, I, I screen grabbed my OBS. <laughs> that makes way more sense. some people in here and then I gotta get the stream chat window back out oh how do I pop it back out there we go okay so let me just pop that into Twitter really quick uh, take this as a moment to stretch get some water please hydrate yourselves or get a beer it is past five o'clock here, so you have my permission to grab a beer. Um, yeah. Let's see. Go be under. Right. Twitch. I just want Twitch. Twitch.tv. Slash Zuby, please. There we go. It sure is beer o'clock. Um, oh shoot, I don't even know if I have any beer. I don't know if I have any beer. I might have to check the fridge in a little bit. Okay, we're back at it. Since we're going over a friend's house, I don't know what food we're gonna have there. So that's gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm -hmm. This um, uh, Mexican food place that's like walking distance from where we live uh, just updated their, um, they added more stuff to their vegan menu. And I'm not a vegan per se, uh, I am, Primarily a vegetarian that I'll I'll like eat meat and stuff on special occasions Because uh, nobody's perfect, right? Nobody's nerfed and oh my gosh the El Pastor vegan tacos were so good They were like absolutely delicious Yeah <laughs> Just checking something really quick. Okay. Hi, Cassie. How are you? Thanks for hopping on in. Hopping on in. Hopping on in. I even like wanna uh, do a little bit more of this top. It's like, I, I love how it looks, but it's just, it's looking too monochrome compared to everything else. So I think what I'm gonna do, well, we're gonna go a little bit more on the green side. I'm just gonna color pick. Good to hear you're doing well. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice Friday so far. For everyone that has possibly hopped in.
I'm like, when in doubt, make it green. <laughs> green is such a good color. It like green you can't go wrong with. Green is a very easy color to work with, in my opinion. It's natural, it's in so much stuff. The human eye can see the most shades of green or something like that. Heard that on Fargo. Great show, please watch it. Uh, just wrapping up work and sewing a skirt for a cosplay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I wish I could sew. I took a sewing class in high school, and I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> but I'm happy, I I'm really happy I tried it. That looks so much better. I'll keep tweaking it, but it looks so much better. Spice up these jorts a little bit. <laughs> See, isn't this crazy? Like, in case you just hopped in or anything, I was kind of explaining earlier about how to just kind of add dimension to just little things like clothing, uh, uh, skin tones, hair, so on and so forth. Like, for example, with the purple, I added uh, yellow because purple and yellow contrast. Uh, cool color theory stuff. So it kind of helps not only neutralize it, it also adds warmth, it adds depth, it adds a little bit more interest. Um, so with this, with my, my beautiful jorts on Amethyst, <laughs> um, the, the grayish blue was fine, but it needed a little bit more work. So even just adding a little bit of like the opposite of blue is orange, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I believe it is orange. Uh, just add a little bit and uh, it just adds jorts. <laughs> the opposite of blue is jorts. Just even color picking it. It's a very gray color. I think I'm just gonna up it up a little bit more. It just adds some warmth. Keeps things a little bit interesting, you know? 
And then even with like some blue, I'm just gonna go, you know how I like to treat this? Anytime where I just need a little bit more interest in color, I kind of treat it like color pencils, like how I would use color pencils. So sometimes I would just take, I like I'm picking up a super royal blue color pencil. And sometimes I just want to do a light scribble and it just adds at least a little bit more interest and detail. You don't have to go, like you don't need a heavy hand with it. It just adds a little bit more. You can, and like the cool, and you just pop it all over and just kind of helps connect the piece a little bit more. Uh, yeah, good stuff. And then I'll just color pick from other stuff. Just kind of do that too. Kind of clean up the stars. I think I would like to kind of start outlining this area so we can kind of get a hint of the shorts. Do, do, do. I'm gonna treat them like actual shorts. Or maybe that looks too weird, I can't tell. Maybe a little weird. Maybe I'll just limit the amount of, uh... Yeah, that's fine. And I'll like... Line up some areas. Actually, maybe not. Jean short time. Jorts. Ah, oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Plophony. Love that name. Super cute. Welcome on in. Super duper cute. Save. Water, water, water. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This is what we're looking at so far. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be able to finish this in... I would give it 20 minutes, I hope. And then from there, depending how much time we have left, I'll maybe take some like random sketch requests i just really wanted to get this amy done because she's the cutest yeah i know lapis lazuli was mentioned so i would be super down to draw lapis lazuli address these hands. <laughs>
This is looking so fun and amazing. Definitely inspiring me to have fun with painterly brushes. Yes, please. Yes. If I can inspire anyone to just kind of have fun with art, then that means I did my job right. Being painterly is fun. I enjoy it a lot. I used to be, um, I used to work way more flat. Like would use the lasso tool and stuff. And uh, I enjoyed it, but I just, I couldn't, um, <sighs> I just felt like, oh, I'm not fully there with um, my art style just yet. I know I can push more, and I just, I couldn't put my finger on it, and then once I started kind of playing around with, like, treating it like a traditional painting, uh, then I'm, I thought, oh, why don't I just try this for a while? And it's been so much fun. I don't want to draw hands. Thanks for the follow. Illustration. <laughs> Illustra Illustrachel. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like Rachel. Ah, haha. That's really clever. I dig that. That's very good. I don't know how to draw fists, okay? <laughs> Leave me be. You can definitely see all the fun you're having in the piece. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is fun. It is very fun. I think I have the most fun when I'm the loosest. Like, just... No pressure. I'm just... Um, just playing around, trying new things. Yeah, we're making very good progress. Mm -mm -mm. Oof, I am getting hungry. But I want to keep going. I'll get something to eat after the stream. I don't know what I'm gonna make. Kinda need to go grocery shopping. Maybe I'll make some eggs or something.
Yeah, the other thing I'm doing is I'm just color picking all of the colors I've picked before, like that I've laid down before in the piece, and I'm just integrating them. Uh, and just helps uh, give some dimension. <laughs> uh, right after I joined the stream, my partner walked in and asked me uh, what to eat, and I told him about your board game recommendations. It's like he sensed me talking about nerd stuff. Oh, yeah. Nerd stuff always approved. Oh, yeah, if anyone new uh, came in, again, I, I'm not keeping track of analytics or anything, but if you are new um, and you have a board game or a tabletop RPG uh, you'd like to re recommend, throw it in the chat. I am always looking for uh, new stuff to play. My partner's really big into tabletops. He's the one who kind of is the one scouring out looking for new ones for our group to play, our groups. So I'm happy to take a recommendation. I would imagine there's some nerds in here. No shame, I'm a nerd too. My in-laws love to play board games. Oh, that's awesome. Wish more of my family members would play board games. I mean, no pressure. It's all good if they don't want to. They're just so fun, you know? Last holiday we played Telestrations and Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. <laughs> I've never heard of that card game. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's so nice that you got some people to play with. I'm gonna go like more of a bluer outline for the hair. I think. Card game is so much fun, but weirdly hard. I highly recommend <laughs> Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll have to look up the rules. I'm I'm curious now. <laughs> you are intriguing me. It's like I can play poker. 
I can do I can do blackjack and I can do go fish. <laughs> oh, there's that um Midwest game. I forget what it's called. Um Midwest card game. I've never played it, but it's gonna kill me if I don't remember what it's called. It's a big Michigan game, I think. I should probably tackle these shoes. What are those? Old meme alert. I just showed my age right there, Jesus. What are those? <laughs> the stupidest meme in existence. <laughs> Probably. Oh, like, and also Damn Daniel. Damn, Damn Daniel was not funny, guys. Sorry. Hate to break it to you. Not a good meme. Would you say it's preferable to have a sketch prepared for tomorrow's workshop, or is it better just to go with the flow? Ooh, um, what I'm going to do? Oh, that's a good question. I think I might, I would say don't prepare. I would say, um, I think how I'm going to do it is I am going to do a warm color palette, a cool color palette, and then, um, kind of uh, pick three or four random colors from my, uh, whether it's gonna be paints or gouache or something of that, uh, or paint or color pencils or so on and so forth. So, I mean, unless like, I guess if you did wanna prepare something, just something where if you wanna challenge yourself, um, look, why not? I think what, uh, I think what would be good is just, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna wing it. So, <laughs> it's probably a horrible way to prepare it. Uh, so I'm gonna pull out like three or four warm colors or a funky palette and kind of talk about, okay, uh, this is what I'm kind of thinking when I see this. What kind of emotions I'm like feeling. Um, it, does this feel like a warm character? Does this feel like a cold character? What are, what are they, uh, what are their intentions? What are they thinking about? What kind of expression could they have? So, I would say totally your call. 
but I would say you you don't need to you don't need to prepare. Going blind like me. Oh yeah, if there's any new people in here, I guess yeah, it's almost six o'clock over here, so I'm sure people have hopped in. Um. Uh, yeah, as you can see, you're probably wondering, Zoe, why do you have a drawing of yourself in the corner, uh, <laughs> with a goofy Penelope on your head, talking about some kind of Zoom workshop? Well, I'm here to tell you. Uh, I have a really cool opportunity uh, tomorrow called Saturday Stories with the Society of Illustrators. Yes, the Society of Illustrators. Uh, it was really cool that they contacted me and uh, we're doing um, a workshop together. They do a Saturday story series. They do one Saturday every month. They get a children's book illustrator to kind of come in, uh, talk about themselves and read their, one of their books and do a workshop. So I'll, um, I'll show the link right now, right over here. Really cool stuff. So what's basically going to go down is I am gonna kind of introduce myself. Oh, yay, thank you for signing up for the workshop, CJ. Cool, okay, cool. This is uh, for adults and kids alike, um, which is really fun. Uh, so I'll just do like a presentation about kind of myself, um, about the work I've done, childhood, kind of, I'm gonna show some childhood art if you're curious about that. <laughs> Uh, I am going to kind of talk about basic color theory, especially because this is a kids workshop. So, uh, kind of going over how I pick colors, uh, using basic color principles and also just kind of winging it. Um, trust in your gut. Uh, I'm also going to read George's Terrific Colorific Experiment. I'm going to go over, um, apologize for all the ums. I'm going to go over my process with pitching and creating my first author illustrated book. And then after that, I'm gonna jump into the workshop. And what's really cool is this is, uh, I did it again. <laughs> this is a traditional art workshop. So this will be the first time I'm showing uh, through my phone. I'm gonna have it over Zoom. It'll be over my little desk by the window. And I'm gonna show you how I work in my sketchbook traditionally. I am going to have gouache, watercolor, neocolor crayons, and color pencils on watercolor paper. You don't need the, all those materials at all. They just recommend just if you want to participate, if you have some paint or color pencils on hand, um, or even crayons, uh, bring them, you know? And I'm just gonna draw out uh, a character. I'm gonna basically pull out different color palettes and I'm gonna go through my process of how these colors help me come up with a type of character or in a type of environment. And uh, I'll be answering questions during it. So I hope y'all come, that'd be really cool. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> it's free too. You don't have to pay any money. It's absolutely free. It's a, it's sponsored, which is really cool. So just sign up and join in. It's, it's tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and it goes until 12 p.m. So it's two and a half hours which is basically a normal amount of time for a stream. So it's basically just like a stream, but I'm doing a presentation about myself, I'm reading a book, and I'm doing a traditional arts workshop. So I hope to see you there. And that's kind of my uh, my thing. I'll keep the tab up in case anyone pops in and asks about it. I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. I think it'll be good. Okay. I will get back to Amethyst. And thank you everyone who's signed up so far. Uh, that means a lot to me, so thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Congrats already for getting to host a workshop like this. Yes, thank you so much. Ah, it's a, uh, it's crazy. I'm like, 
Never thought I was gonna get asked to do something like this. I've done a workshop before. Uh, I actually got invited out to uh, Florence, Italy a few years back. It was such an awesome experience. Uh, I feel bad. I almost like feel like uh, I, I didn't perform my best when I was out there. I, I just had a lot going on. I was so nervous, but now now I feel like, okay, I know what I'm doing now. So <laughs> I feel I feel I feel confident enough. I can get by. <laughs> Yeah, even just only a couple years ago, I still felt like I was so new at, like, art, like, not art in general, but just the industry and, and stuff like that. So now I feel, now it's been a couple more years, and I feel like I've, in the past, um, especially the past year or two, I feel like I've definitely grown, and I've, um, I think I've finally hit a direction I'm really proud of. Um... I guess if anyone needs that sort of encouragement, um, my style was a lot different back in college. And even when I was starting like career stuff, my style was so much different. And um, I, it's just, uh, just know that style is, um, style should never be stagnant. Just keep exploring, keep having fun. No one's gonna be like, oh, why did you change your style? If they do that, then they're not cool, you know? You should be able to kind of express yourself and challenge yourself and so on and so forth. I love adding little stars. And I'll just do it to the, I'll just keep it in her hair. That'd be so fun to have pink shoelaces. Pinky purple shoelaces, I'm doing that. I admit I initially found you back in 2014 on Tumblr eight years ago. Oh no! <laughs> That's so long ago. I can't look back at that art anymore. Oh, but thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, I'm, you said I'm so proud of your growth and journey. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of myself too. Oh, I've come a long way. And every artist should, you know? Yeah, my art was so much different in 2014. Wow. And Tumblr, wow. That was so long ago. So crazy. Close, actually. 
We are getting very close. I don't like to overwork things too much, so... You should be proud, and you really have. I still have a soft spot for looking at your old art, and personally, I've studied your art style, which helped me improve my artwork. Oh, chef's kiss. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. I, I am so glad. I'm so happy that I, I was able to help out that way, you know? I, I did the same by looking at other artists and hearing that I was able to help someone else the same way other artists have helped me. Oh, that makes, that makes my day. I'm so glad. We should we should all be helping each other, you know. Absolutely. I should have told you sooner. I really need to reach out and talk to artists more, even if I'm a newbie. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. No. Art <laughs> uh, I don't speak for all artists, of course, uh, but I'm sure they would absolutely appreciate it. I really appreciated it. Like I said, it just made me feel like I... It feels good to know that... Um, that It's just even just me doing my own thing can help inspire other people. So great. Aww. Y'all rock. We all get to be kind and supportive for one another, you know? to the hair on top and I think we can wrap up on amethyst that 
Then I'll probably sketch stuff out for... Yeah, I got another half hour to kill, which is great. I also admit I'm working on that mental block that's prevented me from reaching out in therapy, so I'm looking forward to getting better. I'm looking forward you to, for you to get better too. Therapy can be such a blessing. Wait, I'm going to... How do we feel about this? I... I like her. I think this amethyst turned out pretty well. She's just so powerful. <laughs> right, yeah, I think I'll just keep this one in a separate layer. Maybe I'll come back to it. I don't know. I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I don't... I feel like if I do anything more, it'll just kind of possibly take stuff away. Or just get too complicated, I don't know. Okay. Cool! Oh, thank you, Pearl. Looks great. Thank you so much. I think it looks pretty good, too. Okay, cool. I think, um, I know we had a request for Lapis Lazuli, so I'll start drawing her. Don't worry, I didn't delete it. It's <laughs> just on another layer. <laughs> Let me pull up a picture of Lapis Lazuli. I'm gonna draw her in a, her most recent outfit because it's really freaking good. Okay. Excuse me? <laughs> I will fight for the world I was made in In the earth and the things I Good song Good show
Darn, Photoshop quit. Whoopsie. Oh, thank God my computer didn't crash. Knock, knock on wood. Don't worry, I saved the amethyst. I'll just do, uh... I'll just open it back up. All right, I'll just do a new one. I don't know why it, it is a clipboard. That's really stupid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, the real jump scare, I know. Well, it gives me a chance to make her uh, pants more billowy. at all. Ah! Head too big. I'll save it really quick. <laughs> oh, you're- nope. Nope, nope, nope.
I'm going to declare that uh, Lapis has a little bit of a mullet. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. I think it would be so cute. Here for the mullets. Me too. I love me a good mullet. Got those paper bag shorts from like two years ago. <laughs>
does one do fingers? Ooh, I'm actually gonna have to go soon. My partner got off of work. Is getting off work pretty fast today, which is great. I'll probably have to dip in the next five minutes. I'm so sorry. I will, I mean, I guess it's almost 6.30, so it makes sense. flip-flops or, or sandals are hard Oh, y'all are nice. Don't worry, I will do this again if people are interested. This is a, this is a tricky pose. Tricky pose. Yeah, I'm hoping, oh gosh, like, I'm, I'm in a position where I do, if I get this, if I get my thumbnails and all that stuff done in time, I do have time to do something like this. Oh man, but come this fall, I just, I'm looking over, I got like an email kind of going over my next schedule and I'm like, uh, oh, dead shit, I got a lot. <laughs> So, I will do my best to get as much streaming as I can now. Oh, give him a finger. <laughs> but I gotta watch the VOD to rewatch since I missed bits of the stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the VOD will be available. And then uh, it'll go on my YouTube. So all is not lost. Oh, okay. Before I go, I'll just add her little water wings because they're so cute. All right. The summer of streaming. That's a great idea. <laughs> the summer of streaming. Okay. Well, at least I have a sketch to work off of, so if I have time to do this again next Friday, uh, I will do it. I like this Lapis Lazuli. She's very cute. Hope y'all like her too. Okay, cool. Uh, just as a reminder before I go, uh, again, in case you f somehow forgot or just walked in or whatever, so on and so forth, I am doing a workshop tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Um, it's gonna be fun. I hope to see you there. It's free. 
uh, feel free to just have some art supplies ready to go. It's just going to be over Zoom. And I'll answer questions and do a story time reading. If you got kiddos, bring your kiddos um, in for the Zoom meeting. Uh, it should be fun. So thank you all for popping in. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, thank you guys so much. Oh, shameless, uh, shamelessly, Ari. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, you signed up for the workshop? Cool, yeah. Um, it's only at 10, it, yeah. It's only for two and a half hours. Um, it should be pretty fun. I'm excited. You guys are so cool. Thanks for hopping in today. It means a lot to me, especially because this was very last minute. So, thank you all so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>